Great tennis player, six years old. His name is Alex Ovechkin. Hugs his racket. Now, why we like his look. Smile, will you, Alex? He's missing a tooth. You gotta be missing a tooth to have an Alex Ovechkin look. Plus, he just got some stitches out. He's got a scar right here. He's got scratch marks right here, three of them. And then he's got a scab right over here. Plus, guy doesn't comb his hair. So we're, walking, we're gonna watch Govechkin hit some two-handed forehands and some two-handed backhands. High, low, high. Keep that racket up higher, longer. Up, up, up. All right, Ovechkin. Ready position. Forehand now. Racket's high. On balance, good job, Ovechkin. For two-handed players, young players, a player hitting was just six years old, so early childhood development. He's a right-hander, so the right hand's gonna be on the bottom for the forehand volley. It's gonna be on the right, the right hand's gonna be on the bottom for the overhead and the serve, every shot, with the exception of one. It's gonna be on the bottom for the two-handed backhand volley, one-handed backhand volley, two-handed backhand ground stroke, one-handed backhand ground stroke. You just change when you're gonna hit a forehand, and now you put your left hand on the bottom. With two hands on the racket, the player, well, it'll be easier for a young player to keep the racket higher, longer. They'll have more strength. It'll be easier for them to have a conventional grip with two hands on the racket instead of going to an extreme western grip. And now the racket can be in sync with the body. The racket's up, the body's up, and now they let the racket body go down together. There's been great players that have hit two-handed. Uh, Roger Federer when he was really early, really uh, young, and then Rafa Nadal. Rafa Nadal uh, for many, many years hit a two-handed forehand.